I, when I was approached to be part of a creative team to do Descendants, it was an interesting choice because we had a couple options. So the theater company that I work for, we have we, um, the resident teaching artist, she chooses a couple titles um, almost a year in advance. And she had a few titles that were picked out and chosen. And when it came down to it, Disney's Descendants wasn't one of those. So we circled, when we circled back to finally making a decision, it popped up at Disney's Descendants. And we, we really had to look at where our core age level was going to be for the class that we were gonna be doing. Because we take a portion of, the, of um, a class and we teach them skills for theater, either voice, movement, or acting skills. So we impart part of that class as the catalyst for the people that are gonna be in, in the cast. So that advanced musical theater cast had quite a young um, uh, conglomerate of people in the class. So we really wanted to steer something towards a younger group. And I don't know how, how much I can say, but we were discussing doing um, find, uh, Finding Nemo. And it was something that we had kind of put all of like our ideas around and we're like, this is going to be cool. It's a great age level. And then all of a sudden this, it snapped and it was like, what if we did Disney's Descendants? I didn't know a single thing about Descendants, but you know what I did know is I knew a lot about Disney. I'm like a huge Disney fanatic. So for me, knowing that I had the accessibility to all the information being a Disney lover was easy for me. So jumping into it, I just tapped on the love that I had and I knew the magic that Disney created and just reading through the script and listening to the music, it was all imparted as part of that. Now, did I know every little nuance coming into it? No, but what I did find out with this production is that these kids knew almost everything about it. They knew the TV show, they knew the ins and outs, they knew the characters that weren't gonna be in it. So I was learning from their excitement about how to start carving out my side of the creative process for Disney's Descendants. And um, I think just from there was just a lot of fun research about who these characters are, descendants of popular Disney characters, and know like, oh, okay, this song really is, you know, Jafar's kit, or this is really um, the the turning factor for Mel or for Evie. So it was fun to kind of experiment on all those levels and, and do the research and really cater to the audience that we knew we had um, built into the class structure that we had as well. And we really did see a really big turnout when we auditioned people. Um, unbeknownst to us, like I said before, kids are really behind Disney's Descendants, like the three movies, they loved it. And we really had a strong turnout and it really changed our whole idea and process of how it was gonna look and evolve. And we thought it was just gonna be a small thing. We we're gonna take like 20 something people and it wound up being a lot bigger than we had ever imagined. And the love and the support from the class and the parents was just incredible. So it was just, it was, um, it was an experience that I loved because I was a huge Disney fanatic.